Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the WWE 2K24, my GM mode, here on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. We have hit our first PLE. We are on Backlash. And what a card we're actually going to have. I, I don't know how many titles we're going to be able to get out here. I did play a very smart move, if you guys have watched before. And we'll bring it up here right away. That uh, Paul Heyman always pulls his, I'm vetoing all your champs card for our first PLE. He can't veto what I don't have. Hey, boys, how was the show tonight? I hope uh, I hope you had a lot of fun during your sidecast tonight. Uh, you watch along. Hell of a lot of fun tonight over here on uh, on our channel. We were just chatting about how how many different scenarios could be coming up and all the crazy stuff that's been going on here. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Big Bad Boris holds a watch along as well over on uh, twitch.tv slash lovewrestlingca. I'll get these names straightened out eventually here, but uh, make sure it was a fun show. Yeah, a lot of moving parts. I love that they have a lot of moving parts. The fact that, you know, you can start thinking about a lot of stuff. And yes, I I know this will be used on a gift someday, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. Uh, yeah, Dynamite was a lot of fun. And tonight's going to be a lot of fun too here, so... Let me give you the lay of the land if you are new here. Uh, we are recording this live on twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref after every AEW Dynamite, every AEW Collision. If you're watching this on YouTube or on Twitch, they are available on our YouTube channel every Tuesday and Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern. So if you miss a night, you could always go to the YouTube channel and catch up without any delay. And right now, we are technically in first place due to Hall of Fame trophies. We are about 100,000 behind. Actually, we caught... No, we are... Let me not even kid myself. We are over 100,000 behind Raw right now, which means we got some work to do. Personally, I think we could survive... If we could survive this PLE without going too far behind, any further behind, once we get our new stadium next week, we are going to have a lot of fun, so... Anyway, let's get into this. Raw is slaying it right now, yeah. Not gonna lie. So, Extreme Rules. Pull all three... Pull three of your champions. We only have one champion who is Alba Fire, who won the title over uh, Ivy Now and Shayna Baszler last week, so... Alright, Logistics. We do have enough for these. I am not using these because you see we have seven assets. We got a pretty big chunk of cash. Next week, we are going to move it into the stadiums, folks. We need to go to the stadiums. We need the extra revenue. We need the extra fans. That's why we're going to be able to keep up here. So, so yeah, let's book this card. What is... We got one tornado tag match. Do it! Okay. I'm going to do it. We're gonna do it. So we gotta do one tornado tag match. That's fine. We'll do a tornado tag for a to the moon. Let's book our show main event first. We got. I always put the heel first. What kind of match are we gonna put? Oh yes, TLC for the world title. Booked and booked. Now our other one, what's the special brandage? Extreme rules match is the branded bonus. Let's see if we could do, see if we get a tag title match going here. For the women's tag. Do we do the branded PLE bonus for this one, or do we do what Triple H wants us to do? 
I think because it is a specialty and it's also a branded PLE bonus, I think we do this for the women's tag. What's the best rivalry at the moment? We got it right here. Dijek and Stacks. Let's take a look at our other rivalries and see where we're at here. Yeah, nothing else is... Like, Fire Baszler, I can't do that tonight. We got Jane and Niall. We, well... Theory Gargano's another one that... Well... The other one I want to throw in here right now is these two. I think that's exactly where we're going here with that one for the Intercontinental Championship. So we got three of the four titles in there. Uh, I am spacing about this way because, well, and I'll leave this as a normal match. We'll get the bump, but we won't get a huge bump. You know what? I want that card. So we'll do it this way. We got the rivalry. We got the, the commissioner's bonus. I see extreme rules. All right, I, th I think we could do that. Oh, and this could be a tornado tag to leave at that. That makes a lot of sense right there. So yeah, we're... Now we gotta fill this in with two other matches, so. We don't need to introduce the men's tag titles yet, so let's not. We'll continue this rivalry on, just a regular match. And our other one will be our semi-main. I love the fact that these two could only win in a steel cage, or finish off in a steel cage. So if we do it this way, yeah, that'll set up nicely here opener for the tag titles Mick here's a question for a chat do I flip the extreme rules match with the tag match tables for the ladies we ask and you shall receive We're, we got the budget for it so we should be doing okay would you flip the IC in the tag match you would so like that, I think that actually might be a very good idea here. So what's the plan for the men's tag? I think we're going to figure that out after we're done. We, the men's tag's always been a problem for me because I've never had enough. I'm going to have to get some more people. Like, frankly, I'm going to have to hire somebody here unless I don't want to use... Unless I want to use... Well, let's see who... You know what? Let's see who's available first before we get into crazy here. Yeah, I'm, frankly, I'm just short enough at every moment here, so... I might almost bring her in just to cut a promo. Is it going to be worth it, though? 18000 for five weeks? Nah. You know what? This might be the first time ever that I'm not going to uh, book a full show. I think after the title match, they need a bit of a breather. So... Do bail it. And then before our main event, we will do a charity promo with Mr. Boston Connor and see how that goes. I think we pretty much got this booked. 
because this is pretty much going to be a nothing match so i'm not really worried about it so having no promo after it's not going to really worry about calming the world down a bit so i'm okay there but before we get into this let's check out the power cards 60 grand for a steel cage bonus we really never really needed that a whole lot but this yeah i think we're gonna get the tables one just because if i need to use it i i'm not gonna use it tonight obviously because that tables match is a semi-main so i really don't want to I don't want to push that one. How much stamina does Alba have? It's the question I have here. 64 stamina, so she's going to be fine. All right, so this is what our card looks like right now. I see title, Theory, and Gargano. Self promo by Sami Zayn. You know what? I, I think almost instead. Sammy can work on some charity. And this one will be a. Well, he's leaving anyway, so I'll do some check. We might get it back. We might not. The contract renewals are coming up, so. Then, yeah, tables match here, tornado tag here, nothing there, tables there. TLC rivalry, finish it all off. So, I think we're good. I think we got everything we need to here. The only thing that sucks is we don't have the women's title here, but let, let's face it. Uh, Heyman's going to pull that card, and if this is the worst that happens, we're getting away pretty scot-free through this whole thing. So, but... As I always say, the whole world hates a coward. Let's do a tour. All right, coming up first here for the IC title. And this comes off of the, the way this rivalry got put into a level. I'll talk about that in a second here. Uh, we got a lot of match to go through here. So Austin Theory, Johnny Gargano. Let's check it out. Now, Gargano, uh, I guess we're in Puerto Rico again. Works for me. So we are not going to get any entrance music just for anybody that's new. So Theory Gargano had a match. They got a level one. Theory came up to me in week two and said, we need to have an extreme rules, or sorry, a, uh, a no holds barred match. Which uh, a no holds barred match, if you didn't know, the loser is injured for one plus week. Well, I got Gargano to interfere in that match. So, uh, Butler won. Uh, Theory lost. Theory had to sit out a week and he was extra pissed. So this rivalry got up to a level two. Like I said, the only, uh, the only feud I'd see that we're not going to be able to finish here This rebel hot! This rebel hot! I'm sorry, I can't sing that well, but... Uh, 
The only rivalry we're going to be able to finish tonight is our main event. Because it only finishes level three and higher. At the PLE and considering we put it as a main event and a TLC match. No, I got a feeling this is going to set up a lot of a lot of great matches here going forward. I I love I love that they actually have this crowd actually doing stuff, so All right, here we go. Extreme Rules. Jessica Carr in charge tonight. Good to see Jessica Carr back on our uh, TV screens. It's been a uh, little nature for the last uh, last few weeks here. There's a bell. We are underway. Charge in the back, German suplex. No, I, the fact that these guys have known each other as well as they have, and I, I know we have the WWE story behind it, which also helps a lot, but. And Gargano's got that sledge there, but I don't know if he's going to be able to use it while he's flat on his back like that. Down for the cover. So yeah, literally right now for the men's division, we, literally, we only have eight wrestlers. And six of them are in matches tonight, so... We are going to have to increase the roster a little bit with some free agent talent and uh, work on possibly getting those tag team titles put into play here in the upcoming weeks here. What I'm thinking is possibly next week after we get the stadium, next week's show might not be, once again, not one of those epic ones. Not as epic as that boot was, Jesus. These two are working so well together. Backed up against the ropes. Stomp right down on the chest. Oh, this ain't gonna be good for Gargano. He brought it in, oh. Theory, what are you doing? Typical Austin Theory right here. Let's just gloat for the crowd. Shot to the back. Oh, shot to the ankle. Ow. Ankle back all over the place here. Nice drop toe hold. Into the knee bar there. Gargano does not want to waste any time being in there. Dropping the shots all over the place here. Standing slice bread. Into the moon salt. Jessica Carr using her head just to get rid of that lovely, lovely trash can. Gargano trying to use that sledge, but Theory's just, no, I'm going to boot you in the face and stuff. Uh-oh. Gargano's busted open. Yeah. 
we have the blood. Theory looking to fit on, finish off. Finish off Gargano. Drop kick from the top. Gargano with a quick switch. They don't call Johnny Wrestling for nothing here, folks. Oh, God. Dropped. Are we trying to let him meet in the middle here? Boo, right in the face. Hey, Catherine, how you doing tonight? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, it brings me back to the days when I was doing uh, commentary before. For the actual, ma for matches with actual people. But also the fact that I can come up with these stories and I, oh God. That would hurt. Now I've been lurking once in a while in your streams here lately, just One thing I want to get better at is talking a little bit more, but I got to learn how to, you know, thin my fingers out so I don't type so fat. Every time I type so, it seems like I had an extra character somewhere. <laughs> a lot better than these guys. Oh, I'm doing good. It's... I'm actually working on my first... And I know I've said this before, but this time I have a different idea that's a little smarter. Uh-oh. Ushikoroshi on that knee there. No way. Oh, I thought that was going to be three. Working on my first... Uh, well, you guys can get the exclusive here. I have to look at the keyboard to still type. I know the positions on the keyboard. It's just I bought this uh, keyboard off Amazon. It's a 75% because I need room on my desk because I got... Four, three stream decks and a go XLR. Oh god, Gargano is fired up quick. Oh, yep, kick. For a man that's been busted open, Gargano is really looking good here. Oh, missile right in the second turnbuckle. No, um... Give you guys a bit of exclusive since Shawnee Wrestling's on here and he's... Oh, God. Gargano escape! Gargano escape! Is Theory gonna tap? Theory taps! Gargano's a new champ! Johnny Wrestling, you're new! Who is your winner and the new WWE Johnny Gargano, your new champion. Three and a half stars. Didn't increase the feud, but three and a half stars. That's pretty awesome. Great start to the show. Sami Zayn, 5250 for fans. That's pretty good. All right, so let's face it. I had to fill a match in to cover this card. Uh, Ilya has just gotten a feud here with Darius Butler, who has no popularity, no stamina. Uh, if you guys are familiar with the Pat McAfee show, he is one of the characters from there. Should have been forward. Did the rivalry not? No, the rivalry did not increase there. I'm probably going to have to use a call-out promo on, by Theory on Gargano. To get that up to it. If I can milk this for another five weeks for those two, I'm more than fine with that. Let it brew. Let it brew. But yeah, uh, if you watch the Pat McAfee show, Darius is one of the members of the show. It's part of a DLC pack that WWE has for this. Let's watch Darius Butler get murdered here. Well, yeah, just a heads up for you guys. Uh, give you guys a little bonus. By the way, Backlash is coming from Calgary. Uh, 
all these uh, beaches and all that showing on the graphics sort of don't work out that well let's get the introductions here then i'm going to tell you guys what my first video is right now that i'm working on Beach is a calg. I'll tell you something right now. If you see a beach in Calgary, you might not want to sniff it. <laughs> For anybody that doesn't know, I live in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, which is about three hour drive north of Calgary. And most beaches in Calgary are snow white if you get my drift. We're a landlocked province, so we're straight above Montana, so. For those that live in the States, just see, we're even giving you geography lessons here, so. Oh, that evil laugh on Dragunov, I love it. I'll wait for uh, Darius's introduction here, then I'll let you guys know here. A very well-rounded stream, a very intellectual here. We're, we're here to, t to make you very whole as a, as a viewer. And his opponent from Florida, weighing in at 190 pounds, Darius Butler! Hey, you don't have all those lakes Manitoba does? No. Apparently, according to most reports, Edmonton doesn't have an airport either. So, our airport's located approximately 15 minutes south of Edmonton, so. It's a running joke here in the NHL. Winnipeg didn't have an airport for the longest time, and now Edmonton's officially the only NHL city that doesn't have an airport in town. All right, so the big, well, I don't want to say big announcement, just a heads up for you guys. The video I'm currently working on right now after AEW uh, basically finished you just skate really fast in the ice rink and flap your arms. Uh, after AEW finished uh, Wrestle Dream, sort of like Infinity War, where uh, the big prize was taken by the big baddie, and combined with AEW's collaboration with DC now, my first video is going to be I haven't decided what, it's, what number it's going to be. It's either going to be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10. And I'll figure it out later. Uh, AEW stars and their comic equivalents. So I'll give you some of the easy ones there. Like Brian Cage as the Wolverine. Mainly because that's what he's based his entire gimmick on. And also, I think it'll make it a little more relatable to a lot of fans that aren't wrestling fans to understand some of the character behind some of these people. And I got a couple that you might not realize, but once I explain them, actually, it'll be pretty cool. And I'm going to make it sort of as a part one. If people are interested and want a part two, I can definitely come up with that. I do want to relate them to video fighting game characters, video game characters as well. It's gonna be fun. I got a list together. I've just never done a script before. So, like, I was impressed with your, when I worked, went on your show, Zodiac, for the Retro Hangover. I was really impressed with your script that you had there. Because I've never done a script. Even when I called wrestling matches. I had a, I had a small bit of information on a piece of paper about the match of the wrestler. The rest was all just right here. And I don't kid myself when it comes to commentary, like watching what's happening. It's like watch a fan watching. I'm not, I'm not Excalibur. I'm Gorilla Monsoon. If you guys are old enough to know that reference. The Killer Instinct so did well. One of the best. Well, I'm, I appreciate that Zodiac. I, 
thank you for having having me on once again for that. And if you and if you have another one you want to throw in there, like I'm thinking maybe MVC two, be more than willing to uh, pop in for that. Scripts are hard, yeah. Like I I know when I finish up my script, I'm gonna be calling it off the cuff on top of it, but. Ilya just saying no thank you right now. Uh, I did, but like, I have the Elgato prompter. That's what I'm watching you guys on right now, chatting with. A little pay dirt there. Shout out to Shelton Benjamin there. Jeez, let's go. Darius might actually win this. But, uh, it's what I actually did to record the uh, VKM documentary i had the notes right on right on the prompter here and just scrolled through as we went nice oh three amigos coming up let's go but yeah so that should be coming out i'm hoping I got a lot of editing to do that. Would I recommend the prompter? Uh, I've enjoyed it. I do know that I, if I'm... Like I have an Elgato camera as well. I do find that I do have to reset it a lot. In terms of uh, it freezing up once... It doesn't freeze up on the prompter style, but for chat, before every stream, I usually shut it all down, shut, turn it back on. And it usually clears up the problem because it, sometimes it doesn't connect uh, to Twitch properly. It's still in beta right now. But if it gets really bad, you could actually undock your, uh, your chat and your dashboard and you can use that. It could actually copy a window for you. And you can just drag it into the window onto your prompter. And it turns into like a third monitor or second monitor, depending on how many you have. But I, I've absolutely had no problem with it whatsoever. Other than the uh, having to reboot it, right? So. I'd This match is being a lot more exciting than I thought it would be. Butler gets out of the way. So I do know for... Uh... Oh yeah, we got to do trades after this too. So to get a power card, we or to get one of our seasonal goals done, we actually have to do uh, five trades. I don't know if we'll get any done this time, but... Ah, uh, the good old back and forth here. Butler taking advantage here. Kick right to the side of the head. This match has been a lot more entertaining than it deserved to be. Is Butler going to win this? Oh my goodness! You want to talk about an upset? Butler's not supposed to win anything. Dragonov's going to be so pissed. I, I can imagine him coming into the... Uh, GM office after the PLE and like yeah I want a rematch this gets it to level 2 I am going to be thrilled
Butler the new shot stopper? No, because he only got a two-star match out of that. Which I don't really care. I That was a filler match anyway. All right, so two, uh, two, yeah, two-star match. No increase in rivalry. That just sucked. But something that isn't going to suck. Our tornado tag team match for the women's tag team championships. Cora J, Jody Garcia, who Jody I brought in especially to take on Thea Hale. And this feud with Nikia Lyons, all this... This season just hates me too. Yeah, like, I've done everything I can to push these rivalries, but yeah. Let, let, let's get to this here. So this is a tornado tag match, so that means all four competitors are in the ring at the same time. There are no, uh, there are no count outs. And anybody can pit anybody on another team, so... Now, Cora was one of the three wrestlers that we picked in terms of uh, we were allowed to keep three wrestlers from previous season to this season. And the three that we kept were Cora Jade, uh, JC Jane, who we're going to see in our next match, and uh, Ilya Dragunov, who just lost to Darius Butler. Uh, Cora has just been winning and winning and winning and winning. The only reason she didn't get the women's title is because she lost her. From Detroit, Michigan, Jody Garcia. All right, I'm going to get back to that in one second here, but Jody's from Detroit, right? Jody's from Detroit. Does everybody in Detroit have to paint their face like that? Or is this just because it's an old game and they were all uh, Detroit Lions fans once they become better now? <laughs> now you have to do that for everybody who comes from Houston, or sorry, from Dallas, Texas. How about them Cowboys? Ugh. Oh, it's Stax. That's right. Not dragging out Stax. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Thank you. Oh, that was all over the place. That's right. Is it me or does Jody Garcia look like Thunder Rosa? I, I would say that, except she isn't tall enough. That's right. I kept Ivy and then just picked up JC in the... Uh, JC in the draft. Now, uh, the thing is about Jody Garcia, she has both face paints on. I, I love the fact that they actually had to get the MP3 out of out of the video for Nikita for her scream. By the way, did you guys see Nikita's return to uh, NXT uh, yesterday? I haven't gone through the entire show yet. Representing Chase University from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Thea Hale. I didn't get a chance to watch. I think it's just the main event that I got left here. But it's going to be interesting to see whether they put Nikita as a face or a heel at this point. That women's mid card to me is just as confusing as ever. Like, is Jade a face or heel? Is Nikita face or heel? Is Lola face or heel? I guess you could say the same thing for AEW if you're not watching. If you're not focused on watching it enough, you're going to have a hard time noticing. Well, finally, she showed up until I didn't see her for a couple. 
Well, she's been injured, right? She, like she had her knee torn up, torn apart. And since uh, early September, she started doing uh, like Instagram work and try to get her name back up that way, which if you guys know uh, HPC uh, baddies here on uh, Twitch here, you know that he definitely recognizes that. I'm just gonna I, I think I have to include that as part of that Hey our local establishment popping in here How was the show tonight was that Marvel talk you guys are doing tonight? I'm just getting the uh, shout out set up here. Uh, what is Marvel Talk today? Oh, the Agatha review. Uh, for those that are new here, uh, welcome. Uh, good to see everybody here. Uh, I am Mike the Rev, variety streamer. A lot of focus on wrestling, especially AEW wrestling. But after every AEW uh, Dynamite and Collision, we actually have WWE 2K24 My GM mode. We are currently in our Backlash PLE. Our middle match of the card is a Tornado Tag Match for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. If you guys aren't following our local establishment, hit the heart there. Bunch of great people working over there. I know a bunch of people that work for me over here on Backbreaker do work over with our local establishment as well. There's a lot of them I want to... 2025 is going to be the year I'm going to want to start working with them a little bit more. I think uh, Ed's going to have to go through my uh, VODs here because of the announcement I made last match. Might sort of apply to... Uh, you guys might be interested in, in the first video that I'm doing up here. Working on the script right now for... Chat, don't spoil it for him. Make him go check the VODs. Nikita with a splash on Jody. So. But once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by here. I appreciate it. Great to see everybody pile in here. It's always fun to hang out on a Wednesday night. So for people that just getting back to this match here, it's the background. As Jody Garcia labels a dominator in on on Nikita there. Uh, Thea Hale I brought in as my personal pet project because I didn't, she's the only cruiser on my roster. I brought Jody in especially to feud with her. Cora's been just dominating. And Nikita we actually kicked out of the first season because of her political comments in real life. And that looked like an eight-mile ride. And the eight-mile ride gets Jody Garcia the victory for her and Cora Jade. Cora Jade takes tag team gold for a second time here. This is pretty awesome. We have new tag team champions. Oh, I cannot wait. Motor City Machine Guns coming up for four star match. So basically it was a saw off either way between our first match and our third match. So beautiful booking either way. And we got a level two rivalry out of this. The rivalry grew. Everything's coming up gold coins yeah I'm, I'm happy to see the machine guns get their due I just hope that they get through the horrible booking there and, and the only reason I say horrible booking is because the only way they're going to get the tag titles is over the Samoan's dead body yeah this is a big win on this match we got 
we got everything just worked out perfect and we get in this rivalry so we got one to save up for the next ple I want to check the fodder reports. We might have got an increase. Sometimes they showed show the increase on this one. But how does Shayna Baszler not call out the, the new champ when they already have a level two? Damn it. All right, here we go. These two have filed a newly filed rivalry. This was going to be my next rivalry for the, uh, for the women's title. But Ivy just could not find a rivalry. And then as soon as she drops the title, she finds a rivalry. What the hell is that? Let's get this going and we can go there. So here's a question. Until we watch Mirushi Machine Guns, how about DIY versus Morse? Uh, in response to your question? I'd love to see that. I would absolutely love to see that. Was not expecting that sound bit. I. So back to the more super machine guns. One more. It's a tables match. Making her way to the ring from Tampa, Florida. JC Jane. So that Krusty the Clown sound that came up. It actually showed up when Chris Jericho started his learning tree uh, in AEW here because Chris Jericho basically, as far as I'm concerned, we would like to get him off our TV ASAP. I bet it's Jericho's... Hell, I've called matches in the first building that he uh, wrestled in. The Pinocchio, uh Legion. The Elks Hall in Pinocchio. I've called matches there before. I respect Jericho to the one end. We, 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 we. Sorry, Zodiac. I will. I, I forgot to include you there. My sincerest apologies. I need to get that fixed. But uh, I'm a kicking. What the hell is that? There we go. That's that's eventually what tipped it over the scales right there. Uh, but yeah, so we just kept it. And then when Sight turns into a steamy pile of garbage, we got it right there for us. But uh, yeah, seeing the Motor City machine guns, there are so many different possibilities. Like I said, just the bloodline is just I'm sorry but the bloodline storyline has hit its peak and it's going downhill fast or as we call it a GM mode as far as I'm concerned it's called on a cooldown because having I don't mind the fact like the extra little boost to have Ro Roman show up and don't get me wrong I love seeing Roman Roman's such a great character either way well it needs to go to Wrestlemania so Cody can wrestle rock no 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 please no okay th that, that will sum that up very quickly I will tell you this, Rock will get eyes on the product, but if I hear or watch Chris Jericho acting up like delusional, I swear I will hit a bombshell until Bubba Ray will say, you better shut the hell up or I swear I'll pitch you through a table. Get it? <laughs> uh, I just... I love Jericho, but Jericho... Jericho needs to be a part-timer. Because I will say that his match at Wrestle Dream, he gets a pass because it was a good match with those two. WWE better be careful to get a case of the hubris. Yeah, like. It's tough slogging. Like. I'll be honest. Like. 
The only thing that really gets me through watching Raw and SmackDown these days, like I watch uh, uh, Wheezy Blonde here on Twitch. I watch the sidecast with her and she has a lot of interesting takes on it. It makes things a lot different. Like She's human about wrestling. And she enjoys having a lot of fun in the chat does too with her. If I didn't have that, just watching wrestling and just... I, I find Levesque got the extra little bub for booking his shows the way he did. But I can even tell here, like, the formulaic WWE booking... You, you have to learn it to get through this, but a lot of it doesn't make sense on why you would do it as long as you do. Look at Ivy here going through it. JC almost went through that table with her head. Ow. Please don't remind me since last of NXT and AEW Tuesday night. I'll be honest, brother. AEW did not try that night. They were not trying to keep up with NXT. That was a mail it in Tuesday. And the reason I say that is because we were sitting here for the majority of the first hour with only one match and the rest were promos. But let's face it, if you're gonna do that for your entire first hour of your show, they deserve a 300,000 rating. Looking at what's trending in terms of fandom, I think a wrestling's due for that. That very well could be. But cheesy in 2024 is different than cheesy in 1998. Like our ultimate thought of cheesy in, in, 19, in 2024. Look at Orange Cassidy. He's getting over. And he's getting over because he's lazy. And we're starting to see the evolution of that now because now you're getting to see what Orange Cassidy does when he tries. Uh-oh, I think Ivy's had enough of this. We've been chatting through this, but Ivy just said, no, we're done here. Being that the wrestling show there, I thought, absolutely. Oh, Well, even Briscoe, like, when he does his word of the day and all that stuff. Oh, God. Ivy just said, yeah, no, we're done here. That could be true until I watch NXT and TNA join Force. Cl yeah, I... I'm going to throw something out here and Jay Quick's going to love me for it here in just a moment. Three-star match rivalry grows. That's what you want with a good midfield match. So, so far we've gotten a three and a half, a two, a four, a three. Now we're coming up with our main event here. Made 1700 bucks, but lost. He didn't have any popularity to begin with, so whatever. All right, we'll set up for a main event here. But uh, Jay Quick's going to love me saying this. I I'm just going to throw this out here before we get to our main event. I have a very sneaky feeling that WWE is going to pur purchase TNA Wrestling, and Maple Leaf Pro Wrestling is going to become the spiritual successor to TNA. Because anybody that doesn't get signed into the WWE system and just gets cast away, they will go to Maple Leaf Pro. 
and Maple Leaf Pro will work with AEW, as you can see, is coming up on their first show next week. By the way, if you're if you really want to see a good card this weekend, Maple Leaf Pro Wrestling on uh, Triller. It's going to be a very very fun p pay per view to check out. So, main event of night two, I believe, is Takeshita versus Josh Alexander for the AEW International Title. So, that will be a ton of fun. But speaking of a ton of fun, it is now time for our main event. Dijak taking on Stax Lorenzo, TLC match, WWE Championship on the line. Let me tell you how we got to this match here after we get our competitors introduced. I've been looking forward to this for a few days. I believe in Joe Hendry. The only reason I'm going to enjoy having Joe Hendry in, a in WWE is because I can get him in this game. I love the fact that most of the creator wrestlers have their entry poses basically set up to die jack. We've had Stack McSlacks, we've had Trixie Gambit. The following contest is a tables, ladders, and chairs match! And it's for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship! Making his way to the ring from Worcester, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, Dodger! Yeah, Dijak here, like, he has been cheating the win for the most part. And I've been letting him because it's always been tables matches, extreme matches, things where you can break the rules rather easily. But Stax just wants this one last chance. This Stax was our MVP last, last season. As we came up to our main event, we had Stax, we had Argus, we had uh, Trent Shaw. Uh, finishing off our main event with a five-star finish to season two in WrestleMania. And Stax was one of those people that was a triple, tri triple crown champion for us already. Winning the Intercontinental Championship, the tag titles. He's won the Intercontinental Championship, the WWE Championship. Actually, no, he hasn't won the WWE Championship. It was Argus that wanted to close it out. This would make him a Triple Crown Champion. But he did win the tag titles as well with his partner, uh, Clint McDougal. But he has to overcome the huge challenge here. And huge in many respects in Donovan Dijak. And I'm with you, brother. How on earth did we miss Dijak? Might be time to call the cop. <laughs> <laughs> time to steal the show, my friends. Main event time here up on our uh, PLE. Once again, just a reminder, if you're watching this live on Twitch, we do have our YouTube gaming channel that uh, these go on every Tuesday and Friday. Get those belts where they belong, absolutely. And for those watching on YouTube, we do record here on twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. Everybody's pulling out a ladder right now. Stacks, you might want to focus on Dijak. Oh God. I wouldn't be opposed to Dijak being champ. I wouldn't be opposed to Stax being champ. Be a great story for uh, Stax to, to win it here. If he doesn't win it here, the rivalry finishes. Maybe we could cycle back to it later. Nice drop kick. 
He sort of pulled the ladder out just to uh, fool up the other comp, fool up uh, Dijak here. Dijak just knows better. It's a problem we got in this matchup here. You got Stax who needs to put four, five, six moves together to have anything successful. But that Dijak, all he has to do is breathe the right way. And Stax is going down. Oh, God. Stax just said, nope, we're going for some punches. Oh, God, that had to suck. But it's going to be the perfect opportunity for Dijak to go up after that title. Standing elbow. But Dijak hurt himself a little bit on that himself. Crescent kick to the face. Dijak goes for the chair. Nice suplex there off the headlock. Love this crowd here, just, you know, they're vicious and violent. As Dijak hits, beats the, beats the ring post. So what do you guys think of these new ring posts that they have here at WWE? Like the color coordinated ones here? I don't know. I, I still feel better when they have the old ones because they uh, it gives you more of the feel that you're actually getting hit with something that something metal. It almost feels like you're getting hit with plastic. Dijek finally trying to go after the title. Uh, stacks. This is a glitch. This is a glitch. And this glitch is going to give Donovan Dijak the championship. I'm going to have to call this bug in. First, it would never go for it. Happened with Argus too. That's how we crowd our first champion. I <laughs> horrible ended four and a half star finish. Let's go. New champ, cheesiest way possible. Rivalry's done, so we're gonna have to find a new opponent, which I think I already have one in mind. Rivalry complete. It will finish level three rivalries. That's awesome. That is so awesome. You know what's not awesome, though? What everybody else is doing. They're trying to be more successful than us. And I'm a little upset about that. So let's go check out what our other competitors are doing for their cards. Let's avoid TLC when possible. Absolutely. So for Raw, there... No promos. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Their opener, Gigi Dolan versus Isla Dawn in an Iron Woman match. No title on the line because she's a tag champ. Four star, of course. Ooh. Bianca calling out Molly. That feud was higher, I thought. All right. Art. Welcome to Raw, Chuck McWagon. Wow. Our truth versus Chuck. Please, Chuck. Please, Chuck. Please, Chuck. Please, Chuck. Boo. Chad Gable, Robert Roode. All right, this has been a decent rivalry so far. 
three star. You have to remember that card that was played on me that had the veto champs, that applies to all three brands, not just me. So they couldn't use their champions either. Ridge Hollow versus Braun Breaker. Iron Man match, Braun Breaker wins. Three star. Then our main event here has Damian Priest versus L.A. Knight. Yeah. No title, just a rivalry. Hell in the Cell. L.A. Knight wins Hell in the Cell on a four and a half star. All right. So they booked themselves pretty good, except no promos because they didn't have anybody available. I remember. Pepperidge Fards remembers. All right. Let's see what WCW didn't do. Holy crap, they got everything filled. All singles, though. Drew McIntyre and Sheamus one-on-one -on -one to open the shell. One, two, ring the bell. Sheamus wins. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Horrible promo with Raids calling out Sheamus now. Oh, this is great. Ty Schmidt from the... <laughs> Thank you. This is the only way they're going to survive this. One, Ty Schmidt from the Pat McAfee show loses to Omos. They still get the bell curve because it's a one and a half. Elton Prince gets some good XP. Okay. Precious Silver versus Alexa Bliss. This is hilarious. Damon Kemp barely put himself over. Star Dust. Take it on Finn Balor, which should be the demon, but I digress. One, two, that's three. Bring it. Stardust, your winner. And that created a rivalry. A one and a half star match created a rivalry. That is great. Eddie got. Why didn't they put that match on there? Why did they put that match on the card? I tell you, Bischoff is a genius. Iron Man match. Honky Tonk Man and Champa. Honky Tonk Man wins in a three and a half star new rivalry. Wow. All right. Well, let's see what Heyman did. He's the one who didn't have to worry about a card. Ronda Rousey, Liv Morgan. So he gets a boost because it's a women's match. One, two, that's three. Bell. Rousey wins as always. Three star, okay. Logan Paul putting himself over. <laughs> that's enough, he doesn't deserve more. Piper, Niven, Candice, LeRae. Candice LeRae in a two. All right. MVP putting himself over. I can appreciate that. Kofi Kingston versus Ivar in a regular match. One, two. That's it. The Kofi to two and a half. Okay. Woods putting himself over. That's good. Tiffany Stratton, Indy Hartwell. Specialist, specialist is not supposed to do well. But two and a half because they're that good. Miz getting 6,000 on the charity promo. Okay. Our main event, an Iron Man match for the ECW world title. Jake the Snake taking on Julius Creed. Can Creed overcome the snake? No. Three and a half star match and the rivalry grows for them. All right, let's see the report cards now. Just a good booking for me, damn it. Level two, level one, level two, level two, finished. And that's level two. So everything I got is level two right now. No injuries. How the hell does he get amazing booking? 
Oh yeah, because this opener was so good apparently. Rivalry complete, level four. Rivalry complete, rivalry. He finished all his rivalries. That's why he got the amazing booking. Ah, good booking. I forgot they round these, right? So. Two, 1.5. One, two rivalries out of the whole bunch. Except the one rivalry they could have used. And the DCW got good booking as well. No injuries. A lot of level threes. So a lot of increased rivalries going out of it. So that being said, let's go uh, take a look at our final results. A 119, so that's good. 123,000. And we're up at 543. This is very good. We needed to get 450,000 to buy the new stadium which means our show next week is going to be absolute garbage, but we're going to get a larger stadium. So we're going to get more money out of it. Four, five, 34, five, 43, one Oh nine. It's like a one fourteen, but they have way less money than us. So, Four six three seven. So I think we might have caught up an extra twenty thousand there. One hundred. So they only got eighty three thousand. Like this is turning into a two horse race at this point. And then one sixteen for ECW. They're trying to stay in the race, but. So we got our two the moon, which is going to be useful. Seasonal challenge. Select an opposing brand and we use two. Okay. So we are now. We gained 10,000. We gained 10,000 fans on Raw. Once again, everybody, the first criteria of this is Hall of Fame trophies, which means you're getting all the stipulations done. Then it goes by fans. So once Adam Pierce gets his fourth Hall of Fame trophy, we're down to second. And we're still 60,000 up on uh, on ECW and 70,000 up on uh, on WCW. So we're doing okay. But we need more fans. We need to get those fans up. Our budget's way up, which means we can go splurge on a few things, but yeah, we're, we're going to have to splurge on a few things, try to make things work a little better. But with that being said, actually the game does save now. So I can't usually save that at this point. Let's go take a look at what's going to happen to start out next week here. And we also have the trades that we get to go through and the superstar shakeup card. So let's go take a look. So we could attempt to trade something. Is there anything we really want to... I don't think there's anything really that we want to give up. We're good. We are going to have to make some trades by the end of this, but there's nobody that really... I think we're going to pass and we're going to actually let them trade to us. Oh, nobody wanted to trade with us. Okay. Results come in for the campaign week. Apparently we're up six. So net we're up three. All right, sure. Let's do it. Boston, how much do you want? You know what? I'll give him. I'll see if he do seventy five hundred for ten weeks. Like that's nothing. Good there. All right. Tag champion wants some money. Thirty one five, and she is a tag champ. So. Thirty 
think I'm going to have to go with it just because. Yeah. I'll, I'll go with the original price. We are losing a little bit here. 15K? He is a little bit more expensive and I don't really want to spend that much on him. He's got that feud with Dragonov and I'm just not, I'm not feeling it with him here. But 15K for five weeks, can I get somebody for better? He's got a popularity of 36 and he's got a rivalry. Screw it. I'll use it. Yeah, whatever. Your show really topped the charts. How you managed to pull it off? I'm at my best. It's simple. Listen to my stars. There we go. I listen to my stars. We do crap. So Bischoff's pissed. I can live with that. We brought in a new physical trainer on staff. He's worked with a ton of major sports brands, Kanye and stuff. We could loan him to your brand to help train your superstars to help him recharge, recover most of your stamina. They will have to sit a show, though. We could have him enough to train Dijak and Darius Butler for 30 grand, but also be willing to bend the rules and let you train one of them for free. Well, I'm not doing Butler because, well... I'm going to go for free because I don't want to spend any extra money here, so. Chat, what should I do here? Should I, I, I book Butler for 15 grand, all right? I spent the 15 grand. We got that few with Dijak go, or uh, with the Dragonov going. Do I put it on Butler who's going to walk away in five weeks? Or do I do it with Dijak and earn him up some extra here going forward? Dijak's got a lot, but I think maybe we give the champion something for his spoils. Maybe that makes sense. I think that's probably what we're going to do here. I'm thinking the champ might be the smartest pick here. Okay, there we go. And, pi and Heyman's pissed. What's the stun you just pulled? Uh, I love it. Oh, here we go. Lurch Evans. Good to finally get to talk to you. Number of assistant. I hope you don't mind. I'm Lurch Evans. You may have heard of me. No? Well, I'm a pretty big deal on the internet. I'm looking to get my foot in the door professionally. Would you have room for your roster me? You can hire me for free. I'm sure. Uh, you guys remember this, right? You guys remember this, right? Trent Shaw. This is exactly what he did. Let's go. All right, Lurch. We're going to see what you got here. All right, Dragonov, what do you got? Earned a shot at Universal Championship. Ilya, right now, it's again, it's with... Uh, <sighs> do I make it a triple threat? Or a fatal four-way and get him in there? He just lost, yeah. I think doing this is just going to put his morale to the medium. Nah. Tardy protected. He just won the damn title. Ugh. All right, here we go. All right, which one should we do, folks? Uh, 
All match types cost 20% less, but superstars use slightly more stamina. I don't know if I want to use that because of the... Uh, stamina is probably the most important thing for me right now. Superstars return from an injury. They gain 10 popularity. I don't know if we're going to get anybody injured. And then our special guest referee get an extra three popularity. Do we go with the special guest ref and actually have it? Have a special guest ref match? Or do we go with the break a leg? I'm pretty much open to either one here at this point, just because neither thing really happens a lot. We might be getting some injuries just because we are going to have to push it a little bit here as we start. But yeah, I, I think we could go pretty much either way on this one. Get the special guest because it seems more fun. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. Book your least available... Okay, I can see that. All right, let's... So, next show, we are going to get the new stadium. We're only going to have 30000 to play with after that, so we're going to have to be extra careful. But who is our least popular... St Boston? Oh. All right, well, I guess we'll get Boston on the card. And Lurch is a specialist. You know what we're going to do? I think Lurch next week. We might actually put him. I think we're going to pull a Trent Shaw here. Next week, we're going to put Lurch in with Dij with, uh, with Dijak and see what happens. Why not? It's what happened after what happened last time. Can lightning strike twice? But that's going to be coming up next week. Or for those watching on Twitch, it'll be on Saturday. But I digress here. For those on Twitch, hang on. We are going to raid out here in just a moment. But uh, for those here on YouTube, once again, thank you for everybody for stopping by. Hit the like button. Uh, subscribe. It's free. And uh, put, in, put in your comment, what match did you enjoy the most on this Backlash pay, PLE? And what match would you like to see going forward with our roster here? We got some very interesting uh, choices here coming up. And yeah, we got, we got some interesting stuff to book here. I'm 99% sure we're going to go to the stadium next week. And I think our main event, let me quickly take a look as we go across here. Yeah, we're going to do it. Our main event for next week, I can call it right now. We are going to have a WWE women's title match on the card with Alba Fire defending her title against Shayna Baszler. Stipulation TBA. We might actually have to start using some of the power cards we just got. Well, that being said, thank you everybody for being here. And like, a, we will see you again here on uh, week six. But always remember, be part of the solution. Don't be part of the problem. And we'll see you all here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everyone.